guys see what happened last night, y'all? We got on some chameleons. So in, in, inside of that, we're gonna eat some food. We're getting some tacos, y'all. We go out going to a new area. And then we're going to the cave. We're gonna get some food. We'll see you guys out there. Who knows what we're gonna catch? All right, y'all. See, like I said, y'all see me. We're just messing around, though. But we are going out to a new area. We're gonna be looking for some spiny tails. We got our boy Brandon right here. Brandon, first time uh, going out for chameleons. What do you think about the whole thing, bro? Bro, it was honestly amazing, man. Stayed up until late catching them, and it was just crazy. It's like they, you know what they say, right? Time flies when you're having fun. We started at like eight o'clock. By the time we knew it, it was already three. That right? It's wild, dude. It's like we're having so much fun catching them. So, like I said, this is a little behind the scenes. We're gonna go to another hunt. Uh, we're gonna be looking for green iguanas, spiny tail iguanas, maybe even uh, monitor lizards. So that's where we're going yeah, for right now. But well, we're just gonna grab some food and then we're gonna pick up Tara and then we're gonna head out there. So we'll, we'll see y'all out there. Serve right? y'all, we gotta eat right. We gotta start the day, we got chicken. We have tacos. Oh my God, oh, oh wow, look at that. Homemade tortillas. We got corn, we got salad, we got salsa. We got iguanas. We're gonna eat, stay tuned y'all. Let's get right into it. <laughs> well, I didn't even see him until he moved. What's up, y'all? Good morning, y'all. We just had breakfast. We're back with the one and only Tara, aka Way Down South, y'all. What's up, y'all? What's up? We out here in the Everglades, ain't that right, Tara? Hell yeah, catching them guanters. Yeah. West Coast. West Coast, baby. So we're gonna get worked up. We're in an area where we think we, we might see some kind of rocky guana. We're not quite sure, but stay tuned. We're gonna get everything situated, and then we're gonna see if we can bag a rocky guana. We're at some kind of like, I guess, I don't know. We're on the side of the road, y'all, to be real, okay? Cars are zooming by. We're at some kind of like rocky structure. And if you look right in there, there's like a weird, like, I don't know if it's a rocky guana or what, but we think it might be a spiny rock Mexican iguana or something. We don't know. We are going to try to catch it. So let's get right to it. Just like that, y'all. The 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 club tail rocky one is just escaped. Just like that. That's a good sign, though, that they are out here. My theory is, if it's re if, if it was really sunny, she would have had a, definitely a better shot. But since it's cloudy and it's windy, you know, he escaped. But uh, we'll come back. He's probably right. You know, he's obviously wet in the rocks. But we'll come back and we'll see if we can get him. That was pretty cool, though. Be very careful, y'all, okay? You don't want to be hopping fences out here when you're in the Everglades. You don't know which one has electric current running through it. Luckily for me, this one right here does not have any electrical current. All right, but, you know, I mean, just what you just seen, you know, I mean, it can definitely happen. And, yeah, you'd be out. Out. We are still on the hunt for the elusive rock cuban club iguana or whatever i don't know we know we have spiny tails on our side but this this could be a whole nother we have no idea but we're with the expert she knows everything about this she's gonna see if she can catch us a rock a rock iguana that'd be cool in the everglades wow it's okay there's there's got there gotta be in, in here Now here's the sun. The sun, yeah, this is what we need right now. That's, that's, the, that's the mating call for the spiny tails. I just saw a, a, ba a brown anole run up there. The, I heard the, a little scamper. Will, will, they, will spiny tails, will, will these rocky iguanas eat brown anoles? I mean, they're very opportunistic. They'll go for them if they can catch them. 
They're uh, mm. they're not like the green iguana. Like they'll eat like meat, they'll eat eggs, they'll eat anything that moves, they'll eat anything. Okay. Like straight up, they do not give a crap. It's wild out here. Everything got to eat. Wild Florida, man. Wild Florida. It's got to eat. It's eat or get eaten. That's right. They'll even eat their own babies. They're wow. vicious. They don't care. Ooh. Yeah, those those beans are rattling. It sounds like something rustling. Suspicious beans. This looks promising though, it man. Does. This rock not, structure. No, none yet. I can't believe that big mail that we, <laughs> that we was like out. the first stop. We're literally parked like right next we to it. We didn't see it until we popped out. You're like, oh my gosh. Oh shoot. <laughs> big bad rocky guana. Uh Dried up uh, marsh. It's harsh environment out here, y'all. Yeah. It's ever changing. This is like like an African savanna. This is like wild. Looking. You're not even kidding. Sarah? I see. You know what's weird? I seen one of these rocks. There was like shells in it. Yeah, they're like I don't know if it's like limestone or bedrock or what is it? I think it's limestone. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Oh, that bird? What are you looking at? No, it's just blue. You saw it. Usually, uh, the kill deer is to pretend like their wings are broken. And then usually they have like a nest on the ground. They don't make a nest. It's just like on the ground. Their eggs will just be like chilling. Really? All right. So that's, that's some cool stuff. Obviously, you know, we're in an area that, you know, there's a lot of wildlife just saw a kill deer. I thought she saw a four-legged hooped animal, but apparently it's a bird. It's got a very interesting way of guarding its nest. Hey, you learn something new every day, especially with your with Tara. But anyways, we we did spot like it, it seemed to be like three or four large rock. I think they're Cuban iguanas, all right? I think they're Cuban iguanas. They might be club-tailed iguanas. I don't know. But we're gonna see if we can get them, all right? Oh, wow. Turtle, but it's like it's a dead goober tortoise. Wow, that's crazy. Looks like he was trying to dig. Ooh. Oh my gosh, he hasn't been dead very long. Ants. Another invasive species, fire ants. Yeah, he definitely got hit. Ooh. Okay, well, the spiny got away. We did find a dead look. There goes his foot right there. <laughs> you see his foot? Yeah. Oh, oh wow. Oh wow. Sure. I'm in the air. Oh my gosh. I was standing in the ant bed right there. Probably getting all up. They're all trying to go up. Run Get up your out leg. Of here now, you invasive species. I'm going to bit my pinky. <laughs> trying to run up your leg. Hell no, not for free. Not today, not for free. <laughs> not today and not for free. Everything comes with a price. Well, hey, the, the, the rock iguanas were here. Obviously, these animals have a huge sign of intelligence. They seen us watching them, and I guess they escaped. But we're gonna go look at that big rock pile. Look, Tara, we didn't look at that big rock pile right there. No, we went to the Phoenix It was huge. Here, and then we, we skipped all in. That one that ran, he was huge though, he ain't it? He was big. He was orange. He was like big, like, like, uh, like a green? Alpha. Yeah, well, it was, it was a spotty tail, but. Like he was big, like a green kind of, like green yeah. size, right? Yeah, I seen one sleeping right on top of the rock. He was hugging the rock, like how the chameleons were hugging our heads. No, we're not going on nobody's property. Hey, the best iguanas are when you're trespassing. Yeah, this is God's country. Last time I checked. Mm -hmm. It's the land of the free, home of the brave. Wait, what's that in the road right there? I don't know. Is that an armadillo? Is that a turtle? Looks like it's got a shell on it, right? Or it could be a cow shit. Could be a cow, cow pie, moon pie? Could be a cow pie. Yum, I'm Love hungry. It. What is that? What is that? Cow pie. 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 Cow p
and look at the map and make sure we're in the right. Going. Where are we going? We're going to the Everglades, all right? And that's where we're at right now, in the Cypress. Okay, this is it. So we are in the Everglades. We, we are, we are, <laughs> yeah, we, we are on the right road. Okay, cool. So I guess it's supposed to, supposedly it's like right here that they found it. But I don't see very good habitat. Hmm. Herpetat, rather. Yeah, herpetat, yeah. I guess we just gotta just. We uh, just have to peek around. Yeah. Look at the big hole in the fence right there. There's some kind of big animals moving around here. Probably hogs. Probably. Where are them dang pigs at now? I don't see like. It doesn't seem like this would be a very good spiny tail spot. I mean, I could see like. Wait, there's. I think there's some. There's some. Go down. There's some hills. What? You see them hills right there? Yeah, we can. We can check them out. Okay, cool. Yeah, the hills have iguanas. Hope so. So we found a, we found a non-target species, technically invasive. Um, moo cows. Moo cows. Hey, give me 20 bucks, I'll go jump on one. For real? <laughs> <laughs> no. Don't do it, Tara. It's a pretty cow, I want that white one. You think we can fit it in the truck? Probably, if we hog time. What's up, cows? Mm. Pretty cows. So if y'all didn't know, Tara, she'd be doing a bunch of stuff. She got a farm and stuff like that. And y'all, if y'all want, y'all could check her out on uh. There she goes right now. Look, she's gonna go chase the day. Dang woman! That's a wild, wild woman right there. But if anyways, if y'all want to check her out and follow her like weekly and daily shenanigans, she's on Instagram, I believe. Uh, it's way down south. She's got a bunch of stuff out there. Ain't that right, Terry? You got a, you're out there on Instagram too. Yo, you? check me out. Way down south. Come on with it. Way down south. Look you guys, you guys can have a little. There's another one staring at us. A stare is staring at us. Y'all can get, you know, just get updates and, you know, check out her, her, her photos and stuff, and also, you know, keep in contact, keep in touch with her, like her daily and weekly shenanigans, you know, because she'd be up to a lot, a lot of stuff, pretty often, pretty often. Cow, big old horn. Look at that big old heifer. Hey, he's looking right at us. All right, John. So here's the scary thing. When you're out in the Everglades and you're doing crazy stuff like we're doing, there's always a possibility though you can be followed. Always, yeah. You watch your watch your bag. I think I think we got somebody or something right here. Just, just cruising around. It's public public land. Let's see. Let's see what he's doing. Interesting. Cool. What's up? What's up? Back out here. We got we got some good stuff today. We got some uh, cantaloupe here, some delicacy for spiny tails. We're gonna set this up, see if we can't get us a little lizard. We was out here the other day, but these things were pretty smart. Oh, so you outsmarted us, man. We can't be having that. But we came prepared. Came prepared. Got us a couple traps. Got us the fresh bait. We're at the same rock structure we were at, so we're gonna go ahead and set these traps. And uh, we're gonna get on some spiny tails, y'all. Cantaloupe. Mm -hmm. Probably wondering what we're trying to catch. I don't know if you guys seen it, but there were some rock Cuban iguanas out here. We think they're Cuban iguanas. They might be Mexican iguanas. We don't know which part of the border they're from, honestly. But we do have traps right here that we are setting. These animals are extremely intelligent, so it's really hard for us to get close. But hopefully, we set the traps. And go in there. They smell the thing. Slam. Yeah, they'll smell it. Go up in that thing. It's a hole. Got them in the bag. Like, comment, hit that red subscribe button. We're gonna get these traps set up. Let's do it. See if we can wrangle us a Cuban or a Mexican iguana. Wow, very exotic. Let's go. Out here wrangling these critters, y'all.
Throw it like that, huh? Yeah. Should we should we throw a little bit of chum out here? I'll throw it over the rock. Yeah. Yeah, we'll toss it. Toss a little bit of chum over the rock so the animal, you know, can hopefully get that scent. Too, too much. We just want to throw a little bit to get a little scent trail. It's just like fishing, y'all. Where he at, Terrence? He's over here, right? Yeah. Kind of get a little, little perfume going on, you know what I'm saying? That that Mexican iguana or that, that club iguana or whatever, what kind of ever kind of iguana it was. He was hiding back there. We seen him, we got close as y'all seen from the video. But today we came out with the trap. So okay, we're gonna keep scouring around. If we see anything else, we'll be back. Peace. All right, y'all. Big, fat, generous pieces of food for these lizards. Want to know that it is dinner time and we are not being stingy with the helpings, you know? So the rest of you good luck. All right, you want this? You want you want to set all the, all of these up back here? Right? Uh, yeah, we'll set we'll set uh big and a little one. Yeah. All right. Of course, we want to bring some chum, like I said. It's just like fishing, y'all. You want to make sure there's a nice scent trail out there for these critters. They got heightened, heightened senses of smell, visual senses to see the color. And they have great audio senses, so. They hear us, they, you know, they, they see movement, they're gone, you know, so that's why we want to leave these traps out here. Be a little incognito. Where you at, girl? Where'd she go? I think maybe like right there where the sun's at. You want to put them right here? Yeah. Because yeah. you'll come out here to bask and then hopefully you'll smell this. Sweet, it's sweet. Throw this right here in that pepper bush right there. Now we're putting two traps in kind of a similar area because it's gonna increase our chances. One, if one trap don't get in, the other one would. And if there's two, two of them, we have the shot of catching two of them. So that's the whole that's the whole game plan at the moment. All right, now we just gotta set them and forget them, let them marinate. We'll be back. Mm. Turn it and up. while we wait, we hydrate, y'all. We hydrate on some food while them traps are sitting. Oh, mess.
Gas it up. Ooh. Got some seeds in there. Hang on. A little hot sauce? No, that, that's, that sauce is way too hot. Okay, they got this green one. It's pretty mild. You, you feel I think it. that's the one I got yesterday. It was super hot. Oh, okay, the red one the is red one, yeah. the red one is hot. Yay, yeah, nah. Way hot. Way too hot. All right, cool. Ugh, no way. There we go. Yeah. Scrumptious. All right. Let's dig in, Brandon. All right. All right. <laughs>